Hey guys, I am Shubham and welcome back to my series making apps that automate things. So this is second title of my series in which we will be talking about how to send multiple SMSs to multiple users over a single click of button. So if you haven't watched my last video then do check that video out because that video will explain you about sending multiple SMSs using SMS manager and that thing will be very much required in this video. I have given link to that video in the description so you can check that video out. So let's start with this video. So as usual we will start with concept explaining then we will make plan and then we will do programming ok. In the last video we created the layout which will look exactly like this. For the sake of this video we will change it little bit. We will add this choose button over there so that user will click on that button then this view will load all the contacts and then when user choose multiple contacts or a single contact then that view will return us the list of contact ok so let's see how we do that programmatically ok in my last video we created that we ask user permission to send sms also we use sms manager class to send multiple sms's for this video i added that choose button there and then add on click listener to that button like that so now our main task is to load all contacts in the view so that user can choose between saved contacts to do this first i thought we will create layout then we will read contact from the database using cursor and then load them in the view but then I thought why to do that much hectic work ourselves there may be somebody else who already did this so I searched a little bit on the internet and I found one library called multi contact picker so I will just add the link for that library in the description so you see they have made pretty cool UI even they have provided option to customize that UI so that we can make our own changes in it let's integrate that, this library in our project copy this repository and add into project build gradle and then we need to add dependency in our gradle build. app level gradle build. so let this sync now copy this code so that we can call this library from our button. Let's alter click and import this library. Yeah, this is for custom theme and we don't require any custom theme right now. Create the integer variable and give any number you want over there. It is required for on activity result. So here in the result we will get all selected contacts by user. We will make that result as a public variable. So that we can access it from anywhere. Let's initialize it by array list.
now in our send sms button we'll make some modifications we will check if result is empty or not empty if it is not empty then we will add there one more for loop that for loop is for all the selected contacts let's declare variable j and the length of the j should be uh, until the end of the list so we will get count like result dot size and then increment the j j plus plus so it's pretty easy not that difficult So now we need to change our contact number result dot uh, get get j get phone number get first phone number user may have like two three number for that contact so we'll choose only primary number which will be located at zeroth position so remaining as it is. So for good user experience we will just add or the selected contact list in our text number field so that it will uh, look good and user will get to know that all the contact he chose are really chosen. So for this we will do exactly the same thing that we did previously in send sms button we will just uh, create a for loop until the size of a result and then we will just append each contact name in our edit text for that we will use some temporary string now call set text on our text number edit text so that we can just set all names to it now we need to ask permission to read contact so let's go in our manifest and add their permission now in our main activity we already uh, use dexter to ask single permission now we need to ask multiple permission so let's go to their website and check out how to send how to ask user multiple permissions so let's go down yes this is the code and this is how we will ask multiple permission to user so let's replace old code with new one so let's ask send sms permission read context is already there so third one is not required so remove it let's run it and see the output how it's working yes now it now it's installed great it's looking very nice let's choose two contacts click on finish button now we will just enter some message there enter some count there send sms yes it's showing toast that means sms is going
so perfect we did it so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching my video and i hope you like this title also so please like this video subscribe to my channel and click to that bell icon so that whenever i upload new video you will be get notified so like always in the next title i will be talking about how to create intent service in android and use it to send multiple sms so thank you and let's meet in my next video